This time on A Moment of Science, we're lost at sea. A Moment of Science. Time for A Moment of Science hypothetical. Close your eyes. Imagine you're out sailing in the Atlantic. Then all of a sudden, your ship goes down. All you have is a magnetic bar to figure out which way is north. How do you figure out which way to paddle to get home safe? Lucky for you, there's an old trick that Chinese sailors used as far back as the 12th century. Before you go out on your solo trip around the world, practice this one at home. Float a bar magnet on a little piece of wood in a bucket. Wait a minute and you'll find the magnet's north pole is pointing north. You've constructed a simple compass. A simple one, right? Mostly yes. As we all know, the entire Earth is surrounded by its own magnetic field. If a bar magnet is allowed to move freely, it will line itself up with the Earth's field. The water and the little piece of wood should allow for this free motion, and the opposite poles of the bar magnet and the Earth will attract, and the like poles repel. But wait a second. Why would a north pole on a bar magnet point north if like poles repel? Well, the north pole on a compass needle is actually its south pole. It's labeled north for convenience sake, because that's the end that points north. The little n really means this pole points north. So when your boat sinks and you're stuck in the ocean, a bar magnet can make for a handy navigational tool. Plus, you can use it to poke a shark in the eye if he gets too close. I'm Mandy Strife, and this has been A Moment of Science. Poke. Poke, poke. Science. For more interesting science facts, visit our website at amomentofscience.org.